Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are again going to be talking about Symbol Colors, another Kylie Jenner collaboration. This is the Trend Matters collection. Now, this collection kind of has three parts and it's found in two different places. So, it's kind of actually tricky to piece the whole thing together, but I'll let you know where you can get each of these things individually as we go along. It's a little bit tricky for the consumer because it's hard to figure out, like, if you want to go find one of these, you have to know where and which part of the collection it's in to be able to go pick out that certain one. But we're just going to go ahead and cut straight through to the live application of these polishes because that's what my channel is about. I want you to see how these perform before you purchase. As a whole, I love the color range that they put out with these. It feels very spring. The color range of the ones that came out in the King Kylie collection were beautiful, but I thought a lot of them, to me, they just weren't really something that I was just like looking for at this time of year, but these ones just feel very spring. A lot of them have these interesting like um, beautiful shimmers going through them. Some of them have a, even have like a duochrome looking nature. So let's go ahead and take a look at them now. All right, before we start the live application, I just want to show you what these bottles look like. There are a number of bottles. All the ones that you find at Target will have this blue on the lid, and it says matte. And then the yellow ones are the ones that are promoted both across the Walgreens and the Target displays. There are only three, and they say shimmer matte on them. And then over here, the pink ones, those are the ones that are only at Walgreens, and they say demi matte. However, this is a little bit misleading just so that you know you're going to see lots of shimmer in these polishes today and they're not just going to come from the ones that say shimmer matte. They're going to be all throughout the line. So we're going to go ahead and start with all the ones from Walgreens and I'm going to include the yellow capped ones in that portion of the video and then we're going to move on to the ones that you can find at Target. So we're going to get to swatching. Alright, so this first polish is called Buttercup. Alright guys, so we're going to start out with one coat of Buttercup here. And now this is one of the three polishes that is at both the Target and the Walgreens display. So there's one coat. I love the shimmer on this, um, but this will end up needing three coats. Alright, we're going in here for the second coat of Buttercup, which you can find at either location and it is called a Shimmer Matte. And as you can see, I mean, it's decent at two coats, but it's not quite opaque, and so I'm going to do a third. Actually, all three of the polishes that um, you can get at Walgreens and Target, this is the first of the three that I'm going to show you today, Buttercup's third coat here, all three of those polishes need that third coat, interestingly enough. So, there's the third coat of Buttercup, and that's as much as I'm going to do with it. Really pretty color, and I love yellows, but because of that third coat necessity, I just wasn't feeling like this was an absolute must-have from the collection. Next, we have I Love You. Here we have the first coat of I Love You. This is really pretty, nice and deep. Um, because it is so dark, it's going to be one of the easier ones to build up. And as you can see again, some really gorgeous shimmer in there. All right, here's the second coat of I Love You. That name keeps tripping me up. I Love You. So as you can see, it's getting nice and opaque at just two coats. Karma. All right, third from the polishes you can find at Walgreens. Um, this is Karma, and this I'm going alphabetically through these polishes as you may have noticed. And this was the first one that I picked out from the Walgreens set that I definitely enjoy as one of my favorites. I love the shimmer in there, and this was easy to build up in two coats, as you'll see. Here we have the second coat of Karma. I do want to say as a whole, this collection was really, really easy to swatch. Like, as you can see, not a lot of these polishes are going to be running into my cuticles. They were all really, really easy to paint and I had very minimal cleanup when I was doing the swatch photos. So here's the second coat of Karma and again, I really did like this one. K. 
cashmere. Next we have cashmere and this wasn't one of my favorites but I did like this very unique color. It's like a very, it's, it's a white, white, light white gray with just a pinch of mauve in it which I thought was really cool. This does get nice and opaque in the second coat which you'll see in a second but um, it was neat but it wasn't really one of my favorites. Alright, second coat of cashmere. Again, for such a light polish, this is getting nice and opaque at two coats. Super, super easy. King size. All right, we're moving on here to king size. And this is another one of my definite favorites from the collection because I love the color of purple here but you know combined with that beautiful gold shimmer it's just really spectacular so definite must have for me. Alright so here we are second coat of king size I just I really really enjoy this one can't say that enough this one might be my very favorite I'm not sure but really love it. Commotion. All right, we're moving on to commotion, and this is another definite must have. This um, gorgeous, gorgeous blue with the strong gold shimmer is so special. Um, I didn't mention before, but everything you can pick up at Walgreens is going to have the Demi Matte sticker on it, except the three that are both at Walgreens and Target. They say Shimmer Matte, so isn't that gorgeous? And I'm not sure why they don't say Shimmer Matte when they obviously have shimmer in them like this one. I mean, that's really powerful. Alright, second coat of Commotion. We're only going to need this second coat here, and that will be it. And look at how easy these are applying. No mess, no fuss. Cool as a cucumber. Next we have cool as a cucumber. This is another, this is the second of the three that you can pick up at both Walgreens and Target. This one again was just okay for me. I love the color and the shimmer, but because it needs three coats, it was a little bit too high maintenance for me. But as you can see, that shimmer is really pretty, but I'm gonna need a th uh, three whole coats. Second coat here. I just didn't quite reach the level of opacity for me. So we're gonna do a third one. Alright, so this one's passable at the third coat, but again, there are a lot of, you know, greeny mints or sea green, light sea green shades out there that probably have a little bit better formula, so this is pretty, but a pass for me. Cozy. Alright, this one is cozy and this was another one that I had on my list as I was swatching through of polishes that were my favorite. It's just very beautiful and soft with some um, faint shimmer in there. I like this one a lot. Alright, and second coat of cozy. There's another polish in this Walgreens collection that looks very similar to this and I'll point it out. I don't I'm not really sure if you're going to need both of them, but anyway, I love this one. Crushed Velvet. Alright, so this polish is called Crushed Velvet, and this is another one of my major loves of the collection. I love the color, like the base color, and then all the shimmer in there is just so, so, so gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? Love it. Alright, second coat of Crushed Velvet. 
Just so gorgeous. You could have maybe got away with one coat, but I just wanted to be absolutely sure. It looks nice and rich. Oh, isn't that so pretty, you guys? I mean, I'm not showing these to you with top coat, but on this second coat, you can really see how it looks, how it would look with top coat. So, gorgeous. Curtain call. All right, this next one again is another love for me. This one is so, so pretty. I mean, this beautiful blue with the shimmer again. The Walgreens set actually had more of them that I enjoyed than the Target one. But yeah, Curtain Call is so gorgeous. All right, second coat of Curtain Call. Just like the rest, smooth and easy. Easy peasy in two coats, and isn't that a gorgeous color? I mean, so, so divine. And all that shimmer, I have yet to mention in this video, but I felt like this collection was definitely pulling a Native War Paints. I feel like Native, one of Native War Paints' signature lately is doing a beautiful cream with gorgeous gold uh, shimmer, and I feel like a lot of these polishes are doing that, but doing it really well, and for the price point, is great. So, yeah, love this. Curtsy. Alright, so here we have Curtsy, and this is normally a color that I really, really um, love in collections, but because I didn't love the formula as much as some of the other polishes in this collection, it just felt like a little bit of a pass to me, so we're going to go ahead and do a second coat. Alright, so here's the second coat of Curtsy. Like I said, I mean, in the bottle, this one is like calling my name, but it was only okay formula-wise. I mean, look at that, it's decent. It just, among all the other ones, I just wasn't feeling this one as much, but it's definitely really, really pretty and definitely the only like true periwinkle in the collection, in my opinion. Mauve on. All right, so mauve on is definitely a must-have for me. It's not a color that you've never seen before, but it probably has the best, um, if not sharing the best spot with another polish in the collection formula. I feel like you could probably just do one coat with this, and it has that beautiful shimmer, so love mauve on. All right, second coat of mauve on. I'm going to give everything at least two coats, even if they seem doable, just one, just so you can make sure and see all the richness. So there you have Mauve On. Love it. Silhouette. All right, so this one's called Silhouette. And this is very similar to Cozy. I mentioned that um, when I was swatching Cozy that there's one very similar to it. This one is just um, a little bit lighter than Cozy. Cozy has like a little bit more gray in it, but they are very similar. I think that I prefer Cozy because I like the purple gray look, but they're Silhouette. All right, here's a second coat of Silhouette. It was kind of streaky on the first coat, kind of like those three that were, you know, from Target and Walgreens, but on the second coat, it evens out decently enough, so I'm just gonna do two. The Eye Peach. All right, and then this is the last one I'm going to swatch that you can find at Walgreens. And this one is called VI Peach. And this one also needs three coats. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that. I love that shimmer. Isn't that pretty? But I just wish that it could have been a two coat formula. Second coat of VI Peach. Sorry if you hear some hammering. I think my neighbor's building something <laughs> in his garage. It's been all morning long, unfortunately. Okay, so there's second coat. You could stop there if you weren't too particular, but I think that you can still see a bit of streakiness, so I'm gonna do a third. All right, we're going in here for the third coat of VI Peach. And 
there you have its final look right there. All right, those were all 14 polishes in the Walgreens display, and like I said, the three with the yellow caps are also in the Target display. We're obviously not going to look at them all over again. We're gonna go ahead and look at the rest of the colors now that you can pick up at Target that aren't duplicates from the Walgreens display. First, we have Fuchsia U. All right, so we're moving on to the Target polishes and all of the polishes at Target, except for the ones that go between Target and um, Walgreens, they are all have the sticker that says just matte on them, but some of them are gonna have shimmer in them, same as the ones that just said demi matte from Walgreens. I'm really not sure why they divided it up that way. In any case, all of these have a blue sticker and the ones that go between have yellow stickers, and then the ones from Walgreens have purple stickers. So this first polish from Target is called Fuchsia U with an exclamation point. I hear you, Kylie Jenner. Um, just a straight cream here, no gorgeous shimmer like the rest of them, but it is an absolutely perfect formula. Look at that. I mean, you could just do one coat. That is really, really divine. All right, so here's how Fuchsia U dries. Isn't that gorgeous? It doesn't really need a second coat, but I'm gonna just do it because I like to be fastidious. So here we go. Here's the second coat. It's just, just, just perfection. Oh, looks like I didn't let it dry long enough. Some of these didn't really need, you know, that dry time to make sure you didn't pick up a little bit on the end. I'm just pointing it forward here to see if you can see that I rolled the color there a little bit at the tip. It's okay. It didn't really mess it up too much. So there you have that. Next we have Haute Coffee. All right, next up from the Target line, this is Haute Coffee. This is another one of my favorites. Um, it's like a deep, deep violet base with some strong um, shimmer in there. It's really pretty, you guys. Look at that color. Isn't that gorgeous? I like this one with a top coat, so I'm gonna show it to you that way. But yeah, that's really intense. All right, so see how Hope Coffee dries? You lose a little bit of that gorgeous shimmer there. I mean, it does still look cool, but I like it definitely a lot better with that top coat when it's uh, glossy so you can see all that beautiful depth. So there's the second coat, and that's all you need. It's so gorgeous. It does just make me really think of um, Velvet, actually. This one maybe should have been called Crushed Velvet, but... Yeah, so pretty. Holly Wood. All right, this next one called Hollywood is a gorgeous youthful red. This is a cream, it doesn't have any shimmer in it, and this has such a nice formula. Just the same as that last one, the uh, Fuchsia U. Isn't that gorgeous? All right, second coat of Hollywood. Easy breezy lemon squeezy. So nice and so good. Nothing super new, but you know, easy and beautiful. Cold cash. All right, this next one is called Cold Cash, and when I put it on, it was definitely one of my favorites. However, when I took it off, um, this was depositing a bit of color around my finger. Not on the nail, but on the finger around the nail. So you have to be careful when you pull this off. Because it did that, it made it so I don't think this is one of my top picks. I do think the shimmer in there is really, really pretty, but I just don't want to mess around with the, you know, the depositing of color on my fingers. All right, second coat of Cold Cash. I actually can't wait to get this off my nail, <laughs> which tells you, you know, really right there what I think about it. It's gorgeous. Look at the formula. It's so pretty in that shimmer, but I really want to get this off so that it doesn't stain my fingertips around the nail. It's still really pretty though, so if you don't mind that, you know, it's gorgeous. Kitty Pink.
All right, next up we have Kitty Pink. This one was, you know, just okay for me. It wasn't really anything too special here. It's just a very light, powdery pink, but look how well they did the formula. I mean, that applied so nice and easily, almost a one-coater for such a light color. That's really excellent. It didn't really stand out too much to me, um, but it is pretty. and does have very light gold shimmer. Here's the second coat of Kitty Pink, which it barely even needed that second coat. Really, really lovely. So there's that one. And this is the polish if you've been wondering that I've been wearing on my nails throughout this video. This is Constellation. All right, this next one, along with King Size, is my very favorite of the collection. I have a big asterisk next to this on my little pad where I was taking notes as I was swatching these. This one is not necessarily like a color that I would go to um, more than any of the rest of these colors, but it is the most unique polish in this whole collection. It's, it has a very cool Essie for the twill of it kind of vibe. You can't see it super well right here, but it has a duochrome effect where it goes between green or mauve on this nail, depending on how you shift it. I'm not being able to show you very well right here, but it does have that in person. So definitely really cool. Don't pass on this one. All right, second coat of Constellation. I'm telling you guys, this looks like an oil slick on my brush on my nail when I look at it for some reason with the camera if the camera's just not manifesting it I mean I hope you can see it there a little bit better but it's just not manifesting it but even when I just look at this here like even when I'm just looking at the wand I can see all that dimension of color so definitely super cool one I love it Next we have Coral Riff. All right, next up we have Coral Reef. It's just another straight up cream. This has another great formula. Maybe not quite as opaque as the two other creams that I've showed you so far, but it's still really nice and it's definitely the color, like exactly the color I think of when I think of coral. Second coat of Coral Riff. And that's all you need there. Corset. All right, next up we have Corset, and this is very similar to a polish I've seen done both by Hard Candy and Wet n Wild. So this isn't a super new um, look. However, I do think that this is one of the more unique polishes in the collection, so I did put this on my top list because just look at all that beautiful blue shimmer in there with all that, that fuchsia goodness as the base. So definitely a cool one, but you'll probably think to yourself, I've seen that somewhere before. And second coat of corset. This is another one that I definitely prefer with a top coat. Sorry for that there's a little, little piece of fuzz right there, but you know. That's what it looks like. Definitely like this with top coat. Cosmos. All right, next up we have Cosmos, and this one was actually one of my least favorites out of the collection. I just have a thing with blue jelly, like dark royal blue jelly cream, like, cream polishes. I don't love them very much because for me with a really dark polish that still shows your VNL a lot, it just kind of bugs me. I guess maybe it's my pet peeve. <laughs> so anyway, this is um, Cosmos and I'm going to end up showing you three coats of this. All right, here's the second coat of Cosmos. We're just going to breeze right through this layer because we are not done here. We got to do another one. At least to please me, we need a whole nother coat. <laughs> you may be okay with this, but I ain't okay with it. All right, so see how it dried after two coats? It definitely needs a third in my opinion. And even on three, it doesn't completely, completely cover it, which is just such a pet peeve because I don't like to have to do three coats. So anyway, I much prefer like just a straight up cream formula for dark 
you know, royal blues. But, it, you know, see, that does look really pretty at three coats. It's just, it's too much to handle. Ain't nobody got time for that. Magic touch. Alright, next up we have Magic Touch. I know I said earlier that the one earlier was the only true periwinkle. This one is, I guess, a little bit of a periwinkle. It's more of a washed out periwinkle, though. This is definitely has a lot more white in it. This does have some beautiful shimmer in it, though. But periwinkle, for me, has to have, like, a more more purple in it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, the one that I, I said curtsy, I think, was the truer periwinkle. And this one's the lighter version of that. All right, second coat of Magic Touch, and we are going to be done. Dunzo for this color. Really, really lovely. Very light, like a snowy white blue. Miss Claus. Okay, this one is called Miss Claus, and um, this is just a nice raspberry cream. Nothing new here, so I don't think you need to run out and get this. Um, this one's probably another pass for me, although the formula is lovely. And here's the second coat here, nice and easy, easy, easy. Purple Craze. All right, so this is the last one I'm gonna show you today that is on my favorites list. This is so gorgeous. This is called Purple Craze. I just absolutely love this shade of purple where it's kind of blue, and then it has that beautiful shimmer in it again. There we go. So isn't that pretty? All right, here comes the second coat of Purple Craze. I just love this one. I mean, it didn't have as as good of a shimmer payoff as maybe some of them did, but I love the base color there. It's kind of close to Fancy Pants by China Glaze. Yeah, you know, in fact, the pink is really not paying off well there at all, um, whereas how it looks in the bottle, you see quite a bit of pink there. Sorry for the extreme close-up of the bottle. But, um, you know, I still do like it. Taupe is chic. All right, and the very last polish in the collection, in the 27 large piece collection, is called Taupe Chic. This one is just basically a taupey, beigey nude. Um, has a little bit of peach in there. This one was kind of a pass for me. It's really nothing too different and cool like all the other ones, but you know, we're gonna go ahead and look at two coats. All right, so here is the second coat of Taupe Chic, and it only needs two. I think I could have let that one dry a little bit longer between coats, but you get the general idea there. Very nice, just not anything like super spectacular. Okay guys, so I hope that you found this helpful. If you love simple colors as much as I do, um, I think that you probably enjoyed quite a few of these as I did. I did want to go ahead and mention that these are $2.99 a bottle instead of $1.99. Usually simple colors are just $1.99 a bottle and the simple shine part of the line, pardon, part of the line are $2.99. Uh, $2 but these ones are all $2.99. So I did want to mention that. So even though they're just the regular simple colors name, they're a little bit more. So just something to keep in mind. I hope that you found this review helpful in deciding, you know, how many of these you really need to spend time tracking down. Because like I said, it was a little bit of a treasure hunt. So um, yeah, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this review. Thanks for spending some of your day with me and take care. I'll see you back for my next review. Bye. These were pretty good pinks. So this first one is definitely like a warmer, dustier pink. This is from China Glaze's Spring House of Color collection for this year and it is called Pink or Swim. I thought the formula on this was great. This is just a really flattering, appealing color to me. This just feels very petal purple.